Hi everyone, you're watching Wrestle Rock Podcast. My name is Jonathan and I am with my partner Benoit, aka Nostradam Bus Ben. How are you doing, my friend, today? Oh, fine. Uh, very, very uh, nice to see you once again uh, yes. for the second part of uh, Elvis Presley. Uh, yes, of course, of course. And you know what, my friend? Yeah. We have a good friends of us. Uh, his name is Danny Drewer. Drewer, and uh, he is a uh, he is one of the greatest uh, collectors of Elvis Presley. He has his uh, own personal Elvis Presley museum in his uh, basement, and you know what? Uh, he is probably one of the biggest uh, collectors in Canada. In Canada, and not necessarily in terms of items. But uh, in terms of uh, fee, if you know what I mean. So, yeah. well, <clears throat> I hope that you uh, will enjoy our uh, video uh, with Danny Drouin. So, enjoy, everyone. You can watch uh, the following uh, video. Uh, the action will be there. Yeah. Welcome to a Razor World podcast. So, this morning, my friend, Jonathan Drapeau, asked me, to make a video podcast about my Elvis Presley collection. So I said, yes, man. Oh, since long time, I don't see you. And I want to make this for your, your podcast, Rizzle Rock Podcast. So I'm a huge collector of Elvis Presley. I'm Danny Drouin from Quebec City. I'm a French Canadian. So sorry if my English is not so perfect, but I'm sure you're gonna understand me. So, <laughs> um, like I said, I have 25 different collections and my most hugest and important collection is Elvis Presley. Um, since only six years, I collect Elvis. And it's uh, because my stepfather was the most huge and biggest collector of Elvis Presley in Canada in the last 10 years. And now he said, you are bigger than me. <laughs> Thank you. So <laughs> he never gave me nothing. Uh, I have buy every pieces by myself. So everything you're going to see in this uh, museum room uh, is uh, by in the last six years. And I find it piece by piece. And I don't collect everything about Elvis Presley because the most biggest problem about Mm, to start the collection of this person is uh, it's impossible to say one day after say 60 years or 30 years whatever you can't never say I've got everything about Elvis Presley because it's impossible it's impossible Batman and Elvis Presley is the two most youngest collection you can make in your life and impossible to finish Never. So, um, I have started since six years because uh, many things I would like to have when I was young and my stepfather don't want to give me because he collected all this and, you know. And um, uh, after my 34 years old, 33, 34, 34, uh, 34 years old, I have... Um, make a real explosion about uh, the uh, visualization of uh, how I can build a huge collection, interesting to see for everybody in the, around the world uh, or the Canadian want to pass at my home and said, I want to see your collection. I want to build something everybody gonna be impressed to see and have fun to see. So not blend everything and uh, make something with this. You know what I mean. Um, every part of my museum was distinguished. You know what I mean? Um, I'm gonna show you right now. So, like uh, Elvis in gold. So all the stuff about Elvis, he wore his suit in gold, are assembled. Spin out movie and speed away. Blue Hawaii. Blue Hawaii stuff again. <laughs> Elvis Dorsey show or um, 
the concert epic with Frank Sinatra. Uh, everything are in the good place. Like you see Viva Las Vegas, all the kind of stuff about it. GI Blue, the R&B period in 58. So I make a superposition of my stuff and to have an, um, to see everything part by part and don't miss nothing with the visualization of my and charity collection. So if you pass from my window, you see everything. That's really amazing. So I have many, many items. Uh, I have a 25 collection. So this one and the others, I have over 18,000 items different in my uh, four part of museum. Because my museum is not only in this piece, is uh, in the in the house uh, in four piece. So uh, I can't put everything I've got about everything I collect in this piece. But that's my important piece because it's a closed one, not in the living room. You know what I mean. It's not exposed to the public. You need to enter in this space. So that's really personal. <laughs> so I call it King Kong, Jaws, The Crow, like you see uh, the King Kong poster. That's a real rarity, <laughs> totally rare. So uh, Highlander, like I said, The Crow, Jaws, uh, all about uh, Grease, the movie, cause my mother gave me Danny names about this movie. <laughs> so I, I said, okay, I'm gonna build a collection, a little collection about Greece. <laughs> so I don't collect everything about the Elvis Presley, like I said before, because it's impossible. And it's not everything. It's uh, interesting for me to possess. So I'm a mostly a memorabilia uh, collector. So statue bust, and limited stuff, number red. If it's not number red, limited, I'm not super interested to got it. Um, and my stepfather have his huge collection. Again, we always hold it for me to uh, make a fusion of the both collection and build the most huge just museum about Elvis Presley. In Canada, that's sure. In Canada, with uh, over five thousand four hundred different LP and etc. etc. He got a lot of stuff, but with my stuff, that's gonna be enormous. <laughs> that's gonna be huge. And I collect movie DVD, Blu-ray, and I sell uh, a lot of kind of stuff. So if you collect something and you want to find some DVD, Blu-ray movies about horror. Uh, size fiction, fiction or every kind of movie. If you want to find the um, original movie poster from cinema about the uh, vanishing point, the bullet, uh, horror movies, like I said before, house, everything. I've got over 8,000 items for sale, but I have over 18,000 personal items never for sale. So, my last collection I have started is Terminator. And uh, I don't want to go uh, in every way. I just want to go in the first movie and some kind of stuff of the second movie. But no, I am all of the four others. I'm not interested to go like everything about it. But just to have a nice setup. And uh, since I have uh, seven years old, I have started to collect and my first collection was Batman Michael Keaton and everything about Batman 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 and that was crazy in my young my kids time you know uh, so uh, I have sell my collection of Batman and I recollect it in 2007 and resell it and uh, I have restart a setup but a small setup you know Small for me, it's never small for you, but not like the same kind of small collection, but 
I make a small setup and, and only about Keaton. So uh, every Blu-ray, every still book, every 4K exists about the Batman uh, Return or the Batman first with Nick Olsen. I buy it. So stadium, bust, bah, 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 bah. everything. So I make the same thing with Elvis Presley. And why I have started this collection, uh, the other reason uh, is about is the most biggest legion in the world. Is the most interesting person, artist, uh, existed in the world. And is the most huge artist. Is the artist of the century named in 2004. So uh, he got a lot of titles, this person. And um, how I can say that in, you, in, uh, in English, but it, this legion. Uh, God is um, powerful name. Helps person. It, everybody know his name. Okay, uh, because <laughs> it's normal person. It's a poor guy from Tupelo, Mississippi. He sleep in the same room of his parents, uh, and heat in the same rooms. That's a one piece house. So he's still always with the, in his mind. He was a poor boy and he was rich because the people made it rich. And he sing like nobody can sing because he don't have a um, practice with the prof and all kind of uh, um, person that can teach you uh, how you can sing. Okay. He got it in himself and he proved to everybody every. Um, Every kind of years he passed in the 50s, he's not accepted. In the 60s, he was passed over because he make a lot of movie really bad and some kind of music not, not always interesting for everybody. But he stayed a legion when he's back to this concert in Comeback 68. And when he's go to Las Vegas to make the biggest concert ever made in the world. So he's is the, the artist and sing the most song in the in his career. Over 800 songs he sing. 31 movie in play. And only uh, since 1944, uh, 54, sorry, and to 77. So it's not a lot of time, 23 years of career. And he passed more time for the fans uh, to play songs, to make concerts, to play in movie. He, play, he, he passed more time for us than for him in vacancy or have fun. Uh, nah, he passed more time for us than for him. Never lose it in your mind. That's the only artist who was a real artist. He got it, like I said, in himself and born with this. So that's, I have a lot of respect for Elvis Presley. So, um, you can have me on Facebook if you uh, are interesting to know the value of your stuff, to sell me stuff, to ask me question. Ra ra ra. I'm there. I'm Danny Drouin from Quebec City. So uh, I wish you a, a nice podcast uh, with uh, Jonathan and uh, his gang. And have a nice day. Thank you so much. So uh, it was <coughs> huge, fantastic. Uh, huge. Yeah, the, that was just amazing, honestly. And uh, Danny is a very, very. Uh, I think pass it's passionate. A, it's bigger art. than a video club. Yes, exactly. Like a video tron and a video G. Yes, and uh, you know, if you uh, need something about um, Robocop or. Um, our movie or uh, things about um, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Jean-Claude Van Damme, yes, and uh, Belgezu. Yes, exactly. Uh, the guys is uh, probably uh, the guy for you, honestly. Oh, yeah. And you can uh, reach him by Facebook. Uh, just uh, tap on your uh, 
<coughs> Church Bar, Danny Drouin, and he will be available for you. So he also have uh, one of the biggest uh, video collection. Uh, and if you need posters of different uh, movies, um, he is there for that. He, he, is, a man, he is a member, too, of a, a Facebook group called... Uh, for the French people, cinéphile et col uh, uh, and collection. Uh, what's this? Uh, well, cinéphile et collectionneur de films. Yes, exactly. So uh, I hope you uh, enjoy uh, this uh, episode of Wrestle Rock Podcast. Uh, you're watching Wrestle Rock Podcast, and you know, my name is Jonathan, and I'm always with my partner Benoit. So. Uh, for ending my friend thank you so much everyone uh, don't forget i predict your future and the action will be there take care guys <laughs>